Hey everyone, Chris again with another video for you all. Today we have the AOS PA ROM overview paranoid Android for the next bit Robin. Um, so let me just preface that just like my previous video, if you haven't seen already, this is going to be more of a pixel experience that I've put on here. Um, I'm going to just leave the link to that video below in the description. Go ahead and check that out if you want to have your phone look like this, just like the Pixel, pretty much. Um, so the ROM itself is very stock, as you would expect, of AOSPA. Um, there's no real customization, besides from maybe just um, swapping the left and the back and recent keys. So another feature that you have here with the ROM is the ability for you to run like a, a smaller version of like a multi-window, so to speak, like a pop-up window. So you just uh, press one of these little icons, for example. There we are. So now you can run the little pop-up window of an app over an app that's running in the background. So if you don't have any open apps um, in recents, um, it'll actually open the, the last app that you had opened. This can actually be useful for when you're messaging, doing text, things like that. So when you receive a text message, you can actually long press here in your notification and then open the mini window view. So that way you can just have your whole text message like that um, without you having to go into the actual application itself. Um, unfortunately, this does not support uh, multi-window capabilities. Um, I know some other ROMs, uh, signage and mod, things like that, you can enable that feature. Um, unfortunately, you cannot within the the developer options you may be able to through other methods um, but I just never bother trying to look into that but other than that that's pretty much the extent of other features that you have on AOSPA it runs buttery smooth um, it, it just works. Everything works on this device. I haven't had any issues. This is my go-to ROM right now. As far as um, smoothness, it just opening apps and things like that. It's just, it runs great. I haven't had any issues. Fingerprint scanner works as it should. Uh, things like that. So only downside though to this is that it is running older version. As far as security patches back in August, it's now beginning of December. Um, there hasn't been any updates, but Paranoid has been working with Nextbit to produce a um, NuGet update to the official um, Nextbit Robin OS. So you may want to check that out, sign up for the Nextbit beta program. Hopefully Paranoid will come out with a uh, an update to this to bring it to NuGet. Um, but as far as settings go, um, pretty basic, nothing really too um, too bad. Um, this hasn't been my daily driver. I've been using the, the Sony X Compact recently, but you can um, set the some changes as far as battery goes. Um, battery life though was doing pretty well when I was using this, so I was getting ease about four hours screen on time. I mean, definitely is better than I than stock in my opinion. Other than that, I mean, it's been it's been really really smooth. Um, the I did run some benchmarks recently on this device itself. Um, you see a single core of eleven sixty nine multi seventeen oh five. It's not blazing fast phone, but um, again, this is the next bit Robin and the AOSPA. If you want to download the ROM, I'll go ahead and leave the link down in the description. Also, you can check out XDA as well as the community forums on Nextbit. Um, if you have any questions, I'm also available. If you want to comment down in the comment section, feel free to do that. If you have any other 
um, questions or anything like that, feel free. I'll try and do my best to respond to each one of them. Um, again, this is Chris, and I appreciate you guys watching. Stay tuned for more upcoming videos, and I will see you on the next one.